If you jumped off the International no. Space Station, you might think you could just skydive down to Earth. No, you're gonna have high sideways velocity to maintain your orbit. Jumping's not canceling that. This is a bit like saying you're gonna have a nuclear meltdown just by withdrawing one control rod. There's still plenty of momentum and balance within that system. But the planet's gravitational pull means you would actually get stuck in orbit for years. Not quite. It's not the gravity that keeps you in orbit. It's your forward velocity. Moving fast enough to stay ahead of gravity. And since you would be traveling at thousands of miles per hour, <laughs> even space. the tiniest space rock would pierce you like a bullet. A paint fleck has the kinetic energy of a bullet at 17,000 miles per hour. That's why spacecraft need shielding, just like nuclear reactors need shielding from neutrons. Now, if you somehow manage to dodge the debris, <laughs> you would eventually get pulled back down to Earth. But as you... Eventually, but with no deorbit burn, it's going to take a long time. Just like with radioactive decay, if something has a long half-life like uranium on the order of billions of years, it's going to take a while. If you entered the atmosphere, the air resistance would cause you to burn up, killing you long before you actually hit the ground. Yes, re-entry is not skydiving. It's a hypersonic plasma inferno. 